Hi everyone, welcome to Burger Stop here in Pico Rivera, California. I'm Ronnie Wald here at the El Rancho Basketball Coaches Show. Pretty exciting because El Rancho Basketball starting up league play Wednesday. A game we'll bring you on Waldcast.com as they face off against La Serna. Joining me, Ray Elliott, athletic director of El Rancho as well as the basketball coach for I suspect nine years now, right, Ray? Yes, and also Jason Chacon, the talented and one of the talented assistant coaches on this team. And in a moment, Coach Elliott will introduce a couple of players who are joining us here. Coach Elliott, you got to win a 15-point victory over Baldwin Park. You have to be excited about that because you wanted to even the books. You wanted that 8-8 eight and eight mark going into, again, league play. Yes, we did. Uh we played really well the second half. We really picked up our, our intensity and our effort. Our defense got to where we felt very, very comfortable. And uh, we just executed an offense, and it was a great win for us. Jason, you've been around a long time assisting Coach Elliott. Does it get any easier? I mean, there's got to be butterflies and the anticipation going into league play on Wednesday night. Yeah, I think every year is a new team. Uh, getting the pulse of the team and getting them ready is a little bit different every year. But as far as coaches goes, we never know where we're going to get sometimes. We always hope for the best, but, you know, these are kids that we have to remember they're in high school, you know, 15, 16, 17 years old, and just trying to get them ready to kind of help with that league every year and make sure that they're ready to go. And Coach Elliott, you also have to be happy after the disappointment of the Catella tournament. It was quite disappointing, but you bounced back beautifully again with the, uh, I believe, it was 69-54 win over Baldwin Park. So that, that tells you a lot about your team. Yeah, well, in the Catella tournament, I know the scores didn't in indicate it, but we did play well the last three games of that tournament. We just didn't start well. I think a Christmas hangover was what kind of hit us that first game against Servite. But the other three games, we did play solid. We just unfortunately didn't get the victory. The ball didn't bounce our way. All right, as we headed to league action on Wednesday, two talented players over here. Coach Alec, could you introduce these guys for us? We're going to ask them a couple questions. The young man uh, far to your left, Chris Lyonez, he's technically like a four for us. And then our, our jack of all trades uh, sitting next to you, uh, Rodrigo Cermeno. Okay, Rodrigo, start off with you. Uh, how about it? This team ready to go against Lucerna to start off tough Del Rio League play on Wednesday. How do you feel about it? Oh, of course, I'm pretty sure we're all ready. We're all excited for it. You know, um, we just, we're going to come out with the intensity and everything. Just re get ready to ball. Okay, Christopher, how about you? There's got to be the butterflies, the nervousness, but after you start the game, it's all business, isn't it? Yes, uh, of course, before every game, everyone gets the butterflies, but every, every time before the game, we all come together, prepare mentally. You know, we have our own chat that we do before every game, and then once it's game time, we get down to business, do what we do, show what we do. Coach Elliott, you've been around a long time now, and as we noted, we had some technical issues on last week's show. We want to reemphasize that you are athletic director of El Ranch. You wear all these different hats, but how do you keep it fresh? How does a new season for you, number nine, stay exciting for you as you begin another season with this El Rancho Dons basketball team? I think when you don't have the butterflies or you're not excited to, to go into league, it's time for you to kind of hang it up as a coach. Um, Every year's different, and it is it is uh, challenging and exciting to get a new set of kids ready for league play. Um, we're kind of different this year in the sense that from last year we were more of a pounded inside. This year we're more of a run and gun, get up and down. More exciting to watch, I think. I, I like it. That's the style of basketball I like to play, and that's the, the style that we're coaching right now currently. So, you know, definitely excited about, about Wednesday and Friday. We're looking forward to both games this week. Um, that's about it. And Jason, uh, what are the keys to victory to taking a Del Rio League title? It may be an underrated league, but it's, uh, it doesn't lack in excitement and a lot of balance between the Californias, the Whittiers, the Lacernas. Isn't that true? It's very true. I mean, you're not going to get any surprises. Everyone's going to give you their best shot every, every single game. I mean, you have Cal defending champions a couple years in a row. Pioneer has some good kids. Everybody out there is capable of beating anybody any night. And I think that's what we tell our kids all the time to be ready um, for our games. I do think that in order to get our kids prepared, we just have to play our style. We don't really worry about other teams and what they're doing and we know what they're going to try to do against us. We kind of play and do what we are and who we are. And that's kind of what we've tried to sell our kids um, and get, just get them focused on more what we do so that we can get the outcome we want when it comes to league. Okay, Christopher, uh, you grew up in the area, right? You're from here. Do you know any of the players on the Lucerna team or on other Del Rio League teams around? Are you friends with anyone else besides outside the El Rancho Dons? 
Uh, personally, I'm not friends with either, um, no one from either of the team, but I do know a lot about the players because we do our scouting and we know what's, what they sh what they have to show against us, and we're prepared for, prepared for All right, what have you heard about Lacerna then? Um, well, basically, they will come, they will come prepared against us. Um, they will attack us. They have probably one big, but we are stronger than them. We know we're stronger than them, and we can take them. Okay, Rodrigo, do you know any players on that Lacerna team? Do you have friends around the league on other other teams? Uh, I know I know some players from the Lacerna team, but I'm not much uh, like close to them. I just I just know them uh, like by 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 the style of the the, the way they play. But uh, other than that, then um, I'm like once we're on the court, we're not we're not friends at all. We're just gonna we're we're enemies. And we're gonna fight to the end. Hey, you gotta like hearing that, Coach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, we know that uh, they can be friendly later on as they bump into each other in the Pico Rivera area. But right now, I'd like to hear that they're going to battle and they're gonna lay it all out there on the floor uh, starting Wednesday night. Yeah, we love that comment right there. That's that's the first time we ever hear our kids uh, taking the fight to the to the end. So uh, that that got me excited right there. I think that woke me up. And his mom's watching this, so listen, Rodrigo and Christopher, uh, they're nice and meek, gentle, kind guys, but wait till they get on the floor on Wednesday, so that has to be something you really look forward to. Okay, I asked Jason about it. You know the Del Rio as well as anyone, uh, award night in and night out, right? Oh, yeah, definitely, like Jason alluded to it. Uh, I, mean, I mean, Pioneer's got a couple kids. Cal's the defending champion. I think they return four out of five starters. Um, Whittier's 14-2 and two right now. They look very good. Um, even Santa Fe and Lucerna both have a, a, everybody's above 500, I think, 500 or above. Um, it's going to be rough. Every single game is going to take a, a max effort. Uh, you can't overlook anybody because if you do, that's usually when you get upset. Okay, uh, just a uh, program note. We apologize for missing out last week's game, but we'll be there Wednesday with live play-by-play. -play. That'll be a historic moment because we're going into your new building. New, how old is that building on campus? Coach? Built in 2009, so it's about six years, five years old. Okay, a modern, state-of-the-art building, but uh, you've never had regular games in there for men's boys basketball, have you? We've had a couple, but not not enough. We've never had a league game in there. Oh yes, we have had a league game in there. We had a Cal High a couple years back in there when it first opened up because of some rain. But realistically, we've only had maybe one or two league games ever in there. Um, it's not a it's not a building where we c consistently play in. Okay. Well, we'll look forward to broadcasting that. It's seven o'clock, Coach. Six thirty. Six thirty on the West Coast Pacific time, and that'll be, of course, El Rancho Dons. Boys basketball team starting off 2015 league play, taking on Lacerna. We can't wait. It'll be exciting. And uh, one more thank you to our friends here at Burger Stop for providing a place here f to have this show. Uh, this is our third show we've had, the Ray Elliott Show. And, of course, don't forget Burger Stop, the corner of Passons and Slauson. Good food. They t take care of you. And we've made a little bit of a set here out of the restaurant. We're going to give them back their restaurant. Let the people watch the uh, college football national championship game, but we want to thank them one more time. So for Jason, thank you, Jason. We'll see you Wednesday. Of course, Coach Ray Elliott, Thanks, Mr. Ron. Athletic Director, and a lot more. And, of course, Christopher and Rodrigo. Good luck, guys, as you open up league play. Ronnie Wald signing off for now. Again, we'll talk to you Wednesday from beautiful Pico Rivera, California, as the Dons open league play against Lacerna. So long for now.